What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw 4 TV. So I see this article on HipHopDX.com. Uh, it's talking about Lil Wayne. And uh, I think most of you know that Lil Wayne is very close to uh, Squiggy Baseless. Alright, that's what I'm calling him from now on. And um, they're, they're real good friends. So if this article is correct, it's saying that Lil Wayne will be more involved in Squiggy Baseless's show, Undisputed. So this was published on yesterday, June 30th, 2023. Lil Wayne is set to be involved, quote, more than ever, unquote, in Squiggy Baseless's Undisputed in lieu of Skip. Skip's departure from the FS1 debate show earlier this month. Baseless recounted his recent hangout with Wheezy last weekend at the rapper's San Fernando Valley mansion as the unlikeliest of friendships added another chapter to its story. The infamous sports journalist also hinted at Lil Wayne being part of Undisputed going forward during Thursday's June 29th episode of this of the Squiggy Baseless show. <sighs> Wayne will be going... No, let's start over. <sighs> Wayne will be involved more than ever in Undisputed going forward. So will Young Money. I love you, man. <sighs> And I thank you for yet another very memorable Saturday. Baseless also detailed how much of a fan Lil Wayne is of Undisputed and FS1 as a whole. The connection here is my wife Ernestine and I are endlessly fascinated by Wayne's gift for recording and performing. Just as I believe he is unquestionably intrigued by the behind the scenes at Undisputed. <sighs> Other than Ernestine, I don't know anybody, any human, that watches more Undisputed, for that matter, more FS1 than Dwayne Michael Carter Jr. does. I'm pretty sure he never misses an undisputed. Talks about how um, he and uh, Wayne and uh, Ernestine just got back from spending a sunbliss L.A. Saturday afternoon at Wayne's. Four hours of the best conversation three humans could hope to have on music, sports, and life. Deep thoughts punch, punctuated by big laughs. Love you, man. Well, you know, I can make a thousand jokes about this whole situation, but at the end of the day, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming what he's trying to, what Squiggy Baseless is getting at is maybe Wayne will be part of the panel more on the show. I definitely can't see him as a everyday. That's that's not realistic. But I can see him maybe on the panel more often. Um, I, 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 I've been thinking, and I, I put this out there before. I don't know if it's true or not. You know, I'm just thinking. They may try to change it from just a person, like a back-to-back a -back debate with one moderator. They may make it more of a... Um, Expanded debate, maybe three people, maybe, and a moderator, or maybe sometimes four. Um, because I don't know if they're going to find one person that's going to be dominating enough of a personality, like a Skip Skip or Stephen A. Smith. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I just. 
I don't know. I know some people have said Michael Irvin, but I don't know if Michael Irvin is ever going to be back with Fox Sports after this whole thing. Plus, I don't know if Michael Irvin has the overall sports knowledge to pull it off outside of football and maybe a little NBA, you know. I don't know. Maybe he does, but I, I just... It seems to be football is his, his, his forte, as it should be. But anyway, just want to put that out there. Tell me what you guys think. 